The Namib Sand Sea, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that comprises of over 3 million hectares of various sand dune types. In the central Namib Desert, gravel plains meet with the edge of the sand sea. Here, these two distinct ecosystems are intersected by a third, riparian woodland of the ephemeral Kwiseb River. Located at this convergence of three ecosystems, in the buffer zone of the World Heritage Site, Gobabeb serves as a station for Namibian and international scientists and students. Situated in the Namib Naukluft Park, Gobabeb is more than just a convenient base. For over 55 years, scientists have conducted their work in this remote, yet scientifically significant part of the world. From humble beginnings as the Namib Desert Station, Gobabeb's facilities and reputation have grown to become the fully equipped and established research station of today. Originally founded in 1962 by Dr. Charles Koch, Gobabeb has always been at the forefront of arid ecological work in the Namib. Long-term environmental monitoring is central to Gobabeb. This is our first order weather station that has been monitored on a daily basis since the station's beginning in 1962. Quisip River flow measurements have also been taken since 1962. Beetle population dynamics and dune morphology have been monitored since 1968 and 1970 respectively. The iconic Velvicha plant is also found in the vicinity of Gobabe and its leaf growth forms the basis of long-term measurement projects dating back to 1982. This variety of short and long-term research puts Gobabe at the forefront of arid ecological work in the Namib. There are strong aims to facilitate information exchange at all levels. Numerous student studies and internship programs have taken place at Gobabeb over the years. The station currently accommodates several permanently based master's students with projects covering broad themes. Some of the current projects include the behaviour of burrowing animals and the structure of their burrows, Nara biochemistry, physiology and eco-geography, and bat biodiversity and ecology. As a consequence of this rich history and current relevancy, Gobabeb has a number of significant international research partners and more than 250 scientists from across the world annually visiting to execute research and test new innovations. Professor Don Cohen has been orchestrating groups of dedicated scientists to visit Gobobeb for almost a decade, conducting fieldwork and sharing new and innovative ideas with a microbiology team. Firstly, the presence of this field station, the Gobobeb Research and Training Centre, which has a 50-year history of excellent science. There's been rafts of really top researchers come through here doing great work on, on macroecology and plants and insects and animals and a lot of geology. So the system is very well understood at a macroecological level, but nobody has ever studied the microbiology. 
So we came in with a background of, of landscape scale molecular ecology, armed with all the new methods of molecular ecology in an environment that nobody had looked at. This environment is unique. I've never seen anything like this, to be honest, in the rest of Southern Africa. You've got a research station, a really well-equipped research station, I will point out, right down from the accommodation through to the facilities, right where you would want to work, in an extreme environment that otherwise you would have to drive into for hours. Khobobev offers us a range of things. It offers the logistics, the environment to support a program, which in fact it's, it's near luxury in a way. It's, it's physical environment in that we have good accommodation, we have easy access into and around the, the, the Namib Desert system. Uh, so it's ideal compared with, with more stringent desert research in other places. It, it offers a wonderful system, plus the fact that the the, the fact that this is a research station, and it has been a research station for a long time, there's, there's an intellectual environment around it as well. You're meeting people from all over the world doing things that you would ordinarily never associate with a bunch like that. The kind of cross-fertilization we've had here in the four years that I've been coming is truly incredible. And we've, we have manufactured scientific papers out of this. We've manufactured research projects out of this that otherwise we never would have thought of. The high diversity and endemism in the Namib is especially attractive for those with an interest in the desert flora and fauna. Professors Serge Aaron and Christian Peters are just two of the many international researchers who travel to Gobobeb to carry out their fieldwork. We come here to Gobobeb with my students to collect ants. The species here are very particular because they live in a very dry desert, as you probably know. The Namib Desert is one of the driest places in the world. So we chose to come in Gobabep because it is well-known station, research station, center, fully equipped. And I mean, there, are, there is no other places in the Namib Desert to carry on such ecological studies. So I first came to Gobebeb um, 36 years ago, it was 1980, and I was already studying ants. But like I was a very young student, and I didn't know much about ants, so it's, it's really great to come back you know, after all those years and having looked at the way other ants live in other habitats to be able to really realize the, the, the uniqueness of the adaptations that we see here. Gobabeb is a great place because it's a research station that's located in the very middle of the, of the desert with laboratories, with microscopes, with a very good library, with a, a research infrastructure that makes it possible for us scientists to actually go out into the field and do you know, realistic experiments and sometimes we bring back the ants or the plants back to the laboratory where we can do further investigations. The key aim for Gobobeb is to implement and inspire science and education in the heart of the Namib Desert. Gathering knowledge and an understanding of this unique environment is crucial, as is integrating scientific knowledge with public policy and national development. Gobobeb aims to build on its long and rich history as a unique desert research station by adapting and embracing future technologies and methods. I think just being here and standing on the top of Station Dune at dawn 
is to blow your mind. Now, then to get out there on the plains, you know, and see zebra off in the far distance against mountains, and know that there's an ecosystem that's supporting them that you could actually get in there and investigate. But at the same time, you know, sheer natural beauty, and then the prospect of actually doing science in that environment is really, really unique. Over the past few years, Gobabeb has had a marked increase of science visitors, and new partnerships have flourished with both local and international institutions. Our publication record is excellent for a small independent research organization, and the number of student dissertation projects done out of Gobabeb remains consistently high. We are particularly proud of the fact that innovative new training offerings have joined our raft of long-standing tertiary training programs. This centre is truly becoming an incubator of young science talent. In a developing African country like Namibia, the need for capable scientists and educators is recognised as being key to progress, and Gobobeb continues to make a huge contribution in this regard. These young emerging scientists will ensure that the legacy of Gobabeb as a global centre of excellence for desert knowledge is continued into the future. <laughs>